Do you hear how loud that is? <laughs> oh my god! Dude, it's so much faster. Babe, your car pumped! Hey, we're never too hot. Yeah, that thing's insane. Good morning and welcome to another video on my channel. Once again, I always apologize because I'm not an upload misser, but last week, the last 10 days, I was traveling consistently. I was in St. Louis for something I had to do, then I was in Michigan, and then I was in New York for the World Cup. So I've been away for a while, so I'm sorry I missed that one upload. It's once a week, like it shouldn't be that hard, but I get busy, and especially when I'm away, it's really hard to film car content, especially on the East Coast. There's no car stuff that goes on over there unless I'm like reviewing a tractor. So today is the day I've been patiently waiting for for a long time. The APR downpipes are right behind me. As you guys saw, my last video was the installation of the Miltec non-resonated catback exhaust and the springs that I had installed. So springs are sitting well. Car is starting to sit a little lower, but I haven't driven obviously in like 10 days. So that was only like two days of driving. My back is heating up from the seat heaters and the exhaust is not as loud as I obviously wanted it to be, but I knew that it's not a turbo back exhaust. When you still have cats and or you haven't put in bigger pipes, especially with an exhaust like Miltech, which is supposed to be kind of OEM plus, you usually don't get like a loud growl. But with the Mark 7 platform, I'm not sure if any other platforms, downpipes definitely open up the car a ton. The car should be night and day louder. And today we're not only doing downpipes, but I'm upgrading my software from stage one to stage two APR. I'm doing the DSG tune, which I, I guess I should have done originally because I'm running the high torque tune. The company that installed it, I'm not going to say any names, told me that I could run high torque without doing the DSG. But then Eurocode, who I'm going to right now, says that's not a good idea and I should have already had low torque file if I wasn't going to do the DSG tune whatever blah 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 I'm getting that today and and last but not least we are going to do the burble tune as you guys know I love pops and bangs and I'm not a huge fan of what they sound like when your exhaust isn't like open right I've heard like people running just down pipes and a stage two tune with no exhaust and it's popping and it's like stock golf R pops imagine that it, it sounds really weird supposedly with the down pipes it should sound insane I'm not going to get my hopes up though because when I installed the Miltech I definitely thought I was going to be louder than it is, but it does sound super good. And I think everything's going to come together today. I'm super excited. We are about probably 45 minutes away. It should be a couple hours. I'm going to meet up with Josh Ivy, who's also my car broker because the R8 is for sale on consignment at his shop. So update on the R8. It should be moving once again, super soon. I'll be honest with you guys. I have my mindset on a replacement and I'm obviously not going to tell you guys, but with that being said, I am still open to driving more cars. So I think I'm going to do a review on the 991 GT3, 14 and 15. The reason for that, A, the 991.2 is definitely out of my price range. You can't find one for really like under 150K. Not trying to spend 150K. And B, the 14s and 15s have like a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. I think it's nine year, 100,000, whatever it may be. I believe bumper to bumper. Ooh, and all right. I think it has something to do with recalls and stuff like that. Something that was wrong with those engines. So Porsche is literally fixing anything that's wrong with those engines for like 100,000 miles. Who's going to have a 991 for 100,000 miles? If you do, kudos. And two, if something completely completely goes wrong, they will replace your engine like that. So that is the good reason. And that's the reason why you guys are seeing so many people buy those right now. And they're amazing cars. One of the best cars you can literally buy even up to like, I'd say the $200,000 price point. Only reason I'm a little opposed to it is like I said, a lot of people are buying them right now. I like to do stuff different. If you guys are subscribed to my main channel, you guys know that. So we will see. We're still waiting for the R8 to sell. We're working on the replacement and we actually might use the R8 towards the replacement if it all checks out like that. So I'll see you guys at Euroco. Welcome to my channel. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up, and welcome to Driven by Jordan. Roll it! Excuse my super dirty windshield. By the way, my car is hideous. We are here at Eurocode and they have a, I think that's like their shop RS3. I don't know, but could be wrong. But that thing is insane. I'm gonna go in there, drop the car off. I don't know what my plans are. I can't film too much. This is an SSR. Like I'm not allowed to just go in and film something. I'm gonna try to at least film like a little something. If I can't, I'll see you after. Next stop, my car will be very loud and obnoxious and I'm so excited. We're back at Eurocode. The girl is there. I don't know if she's just sitting there or if she's done. Let's go find out right now. If she's done, I'm gonna cry. Everything is installed. I have not even heard the car yet. It's probably gonna even burble on startup, I feel like. So Josh is gonna film. I'm gonna go inside. You'll see my reaction when I run out of the car screaming. Unless it's quiet and we're just stupid. <laughs> It sounds 
sounds amazing. So those were cold revs. I wasn't even in race mode. I'm gonna let it warm up all the way. We're gonna get some more revs in normal and then I'm gonna switch it to race and it should burble on revs, correct? Yeah, yeah, of course it should. And then when we drive, it's gonna be crazy. So I think this was the reaction you guys were probably looking for when I got my Miltec exhaust installed, but I still have the stock down pipes. It's kind of an OEM plus exhaust. So right now is when you're gonna see me freak out like I did when I had my R8, which was hilarious. <laughs> Do you hear how loud that is? Bro, it sounds amazing. <laughs> Let's get it. We are currently in normal mode right now. We're gonna cruise around and then we'll turn on the burble mode. I'm not sure why it wasn't burbling on revs. Yeah, if it doesn't burble when up. we drive, then it's gotta warm I'm suing. <laughs> okay, wait, that just like opened. Why did it do that? It's oh my God, my car it. finally has warmed up. <laughs> the Miltec was like a T. Okay, someone really moved my steering wheel. Someone who has a really long torso. Oh yeah, okay. that looks a little uncomfortable. Are you lowered? Yeah, I'm on Springs Fighter. <laughs> this isn't normal. Wait, it's it's way fast. Okay, I forgot. Guys, I completely forgot that I'm stage two now. So yeah. I'm faster, I got a DSG tune, the TCU DSG tune, and I'm stage, okay, I'm forgetting that a lot of stuff happened. Let's just Pretty go full send on them. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh my god, dude, that's oh my god. Oh my god. This is dude so much faster. It's stupid. Oh you got a little pull. You got a little pull on the right here. Holy sh Ow. This has half the cylinders of my cars and sounds the same. Why does it pop like that? I think it needs like, to warm up still though. Cause like some of those pops back there remember? are deeper. But I think it has to do with your... Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. I love the upshift pop. Dude, it's the higher gears, I yes. think. First gear literally just... Oh my God. <laughs> he, he did say if it was too poppy. Hey, we're never too poppy. <laughs> It sounds like a drum line, <laughs> like a pop <laughs> at an exhaust. Jeez. Oh, yeah, you're right. Wow. It feels way faster than before. I rode in this thing when it was bone stock, and it's like a night and day difference. This is just insane. from it's, just from sitting. Excuse shotgun. the noise in the back, but like, wait here. Why don't I get this everywhere though? Yeah, that's just it's just the stock. Oh I want that boy. Always. They put like sound whoa did it just get is this thing valved yeah it is valved okay it's got oh it's a pneumatic valve or whatever it like opens and closes as it as it drives in different rpms yeah yeah a it's fast as fuck. this car is so fast now it's it hurts me throttle response i'm noticing a huge difference it's much lighter like you, you don't have to press it much Like, remember the, the car I showed you? True. Dude, this is a daily. Like, this is so fun. I know. The first gear is just insane. My daily's boring compared to this. Like, I don't, I need some pops in my life. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to LA Roads. It's literally just first gear that gets those throaty backfires. If you're out. Oh my lord. See? It sounds amazing, dude. It sounds insane. Like, I, literally, though, insane. I just want the pops. I think we need a clip outside of the car. Yeah, like, yeah, dry, yeah. Like a, like a drive-by. I'll drive by right here. Yeah. Yeah, that thing's insane. Give it some revs. Honestly, felt like I was about to get my hand torched. Dude, first gear is so gnarly. I mean, I'm sure it sounds good, but in person it's absolutely it unreal. Probably one of the nicest sounding four cylinders I've heard in a very oh. long time. Go far. I mean, the, ugh. I just wish those were a little louder. That's a little more. Should we launch it? Launch after lunch, that's a. 
<laughs> That's a move. We're gonna hold this and traction has been deactivated. We're gonna put it here. All right. The new rev range is set to five. Is this road good right here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna come here. Gonna step on the brake. Tires before. <laughs> Holy <shit. laughs> that is insane. So I'm gonna get some dyno numbers soon. That's like kind of what I want to do next from here. Uh, obviously, from next, the only thing I really have to do is like cooling. I can do an intake, stuff like that. That's yeah. more like stage two plus. I'm gonna enjoy this for a little while, see how it holds up. I'm gonna learn it. I'm sure there's different things I'm gonna learn about the exhaust and how it reacts and this, this, that. We're gonna get some more of this car. I'm gonna get my girl reacting to this later because she is going to literally love it. I know her. I want to get one of those little zero to 60 calculators to see what kind of 60s numbers I'm running right there, now. You, there's like an iPhone app. Yeah, but I want something like Oh, like what, a legit. Is that the smell of like cats or That's what? That's just the smell of sauce. All right, Josh, hit me with like a couple revs and then Josh is gonna go cruise it around for a little bit. I'm sure Eurocode's very annoyed with me, but uh, hit it right now. <laughs> Dude, it's obnoxiously I loud. I told you it was louder from outside. Is it wait? All right, he's gonna whip it around. We're making a scene out here. I just like, I need to hear it from the outside because I feel like it's definitely dumbed down from the inside. <laughs> It's so much crazier from the outside too. This is nice. This is nice, huh? This is real it's nice. fast as hell, huh? Like surprisingly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's out of me. Alright, I'm done revving. <laughs> I'm done revving outside. We're gonna head out of here, guys. Jordan is going to love this. And maybe I'll do Mario first. What's up, buddy? Let's hear it. Are you sure you want to hear it though? Let's go. Are you sure? Yeah, go. <laughs> he just gets I in the car. Give it a day before you get pulled over. <laughs> uh, sounds good. It sounds so good. You're on me and they've already seen my reaction? They saw my reaction. I went. Here, okay. thumbnail, thumbnail picture. <laughs> Jordan is back. We're in the garage. I'm gonna start it up. We're gonna get her reaction on the start, and then I'm gonna do some revs. Also, we met a year ago today, and I love this boy more than anything. It's faster. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Not very cop friendly. Shut up, babe! Shut up! Pop up, pop up! Your car pop! I'm just running rich! <laughs> oh jeez. hypothesis okay I've seen a lot of videos online of these obviously I kept up to date I personally think there might be an issue with the tune first gear pops a bunch it's what you guys heard when I'm revving it's what you guys have heard when I downshift from second to first but second through six is just so muted it's so quiet it's muffled and I've seen a lot of videos of people in second third fourth gear and it pops and actual bangs just as loud as it does in my first gear right now so maybe it doesn't I really doubt it though that there'd be no reason why first gear pops would be super loud and the rest of them would be super quiet. Almost can't hear them. You have to try to listen to them. But first gear just explodes. So I personally think that's an issue. If you guys have heard of an issue like this, let me know. Let me know if there's a solution to it or maybe it's just a problem with the tune. I'll keep you guys updated. But for now, let's have fun. Yeah. How loud was that? Really loud. That is gonna wrap up today's video. Current situation on the exhaust itself is this, and I think I know what is going on. The reason I think second through six gears like burbles are quiet and muted is because I've seen 
so many videos of these cars in very similar situations as mine. Usually they're running a turbo back exhaust, stage two, and the burble tune through APR. Those are the videos I've been watching. Maybe making sure their APR's tunes, and people, like usually most of the time they're even filming it, it's second through sixth gear. They're not in first gear most of the time because they're actually going, and it sounds the same as my first gear. My hypothesis is that all of these people in these videos are not running the Valvetronic exhaust, whether it's OEM or not OEM. I think all the videos I've been watching, and I think people for some reason just knew not to do a valved exhaust. A valvetronic exhaust, I believe, is with the actual button, that would be a solution. So what happens is my valves in this car aren't open from like 1,000 to 3,000. That's just how my car works. That's how the OEM valve system works in this car. And when I shift up or let off or whatever it is, it's usually in a time when the valves are closed. And when I let off up at the top when the valves are open, it will give me one or two of those really good pops and then the rest quiet once it goes down and closes the valves again. That is, I believe, because that's just how the valve system works. So solution, I believe, I'm gonna look into it. APR sells a system where you can literally replace the OEM valves with actual like Valvetronic button system where you can choose all the way open at all rev ranges and all the way closed, which is actually better because this in normal is still a little loud. If I can close it all the way with full valve system, I think it would be good. And if I can open it all the way, which I would probably use most of the time, that way I can get the full burbles, the full pops and bangs that I'm looking for. So that is what I think the solution is. I'm going to look into it. I'm going to update you guys. The car feels amazing. Power delivery is amazing. The pedal's actually lighter now, more power. I don't have to hit the pedal as hard to get the power I was getting before. So it's really crazy. In lower gears, like first through third, it's absolutely insane. And in the upper gears, you just feel a little bit more, I'd say torque in like lower RPMs. It's like, it kind of covers more of the RPM range. I absolutely love it. I love the shift noise I get. I actually like that it opens and closes a little bit, but it does affect the pops and bangs, so I don't like that. I have a bunch of aftermarket exterior parts that I'm gonna be throwing on the car. They're all my apartment, so when I do that, I'll film the video for you guys. Be sure to follow the Instagram, Driven by Jordan. If you don't already follow my main channel, follow Jordan Bow. I'll have all my stuff linked down below as always, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. I love you. Peace. I love you. <laughs>